transform has already been taken in f of t and the result was f of s. The question is, what is the inverse of this f of s? What is the inverse Laplace transform of f of s? In other words, what did they take the transform to give us this? Now, first of all, let us split this guy into what? Partial fraction. Please, if you have not hit the subscribe button, the subscribe button is down here. Hit the subscribe button. Thank you. So right now, I'm going to say s squared minus 15s plus 41 divided by s plus 2 bracket bracket s minus 3 all squared. This should be equal to the first denominator here is s plus 2. Then plus second denominator is s minus 3 plus s minus 3 all squared. If you can still remember partial fractions properly. Otherwise, if you cannot, watch my videos on partial fractions over there. So right now, what am I going to do next? I'm going to be having A, B, and C at this very part. I'm going to be having A, B, and C. So right now, this A, B, and C guy that I'm going to be having, what is the LCM? Okay, I think I've done this a whole lot of times, so I can do it very fast. This top here, s squared minus 15s plus 41, is going to be equivalent to, now this is s plus 2, right? This is s plus 2, right? So this will become a bracket s minus 3 squared. Because when you take the LCM, you're going to have a over s minus 3 all squared. Then plus this is b bracket. Since I have s minus 3 here, b is going to be giving me s plus 2 bracket bracket s minus 3 that's what i'm going to multiply with then plus c bracket s minus 3 squared is gone this guy is s plus 2. Hmm. what i've just done here is actually very simple you can watch my last video so that you understand this properly it's still the same thing but i think in that very last video i actually showed how i got this expression or you can watch my videos on laplace transform sorry on partial fraction okay so this is what I have. Now at this part, this is s squared minus 15s plus 41 equal. Can we open this bracket? I just want to do it because of you. So this is a bracket s squared minus 6x, 6s plus 9. Then plus b bracket s squared minus s minus 6. Then plus c bracket s plus 2. Okay, so what's the next thing that will happen here? Let me find my a first of all. Let me find a first of all. Now look at this. Since a is divided by s plus 2, and this is the only single s plus 2 that we have here, you can actually use the cover up root to solve it. So first of all, you can watch cover up root to understand how to solve with cover up root. Now what's the denominator here? s plus 2. I'm going to say s plus 2 should be equal to 0. So s would then be equal to can plus 2 go over here. It becomes minus what? 2. So that is it. So at this very part, I'm going to say a is going to become anywhere I see s here, I'm going to replace s with what? Minus 2. But since this s plus 2 is here, I'm not going to touch s plus 2. I'm going to touch every other thing apart from this very guy. So we have our s and we said s is what? Minus 2. So minus 2 squared is what? 4. Minus 15 times minus 2 is what? Plus 30. Then plus what? 41. Divided by this s plus 2. I said what? Well, don't touch it. S is minus 2. So this is minus 2 minus 3. So this is minus 5 all squared. 4 plus this will give me what? 34. So what would this give to me? 70 what? 5. So I have 75 there when you add it divided by minus 5 squared is what 25 75 divided by 25 is going to give me 3 so it means my a is equal to what 3 that's my a now this part I can then go into the option of doing what into the option of me equating coefficients so let me equate all the s squares equate all s squares so look at this. This is s squared on this side and it has the power of what? 1. So this is 1 equal a times s squared will give us a s squared. Meaning that there's going to be an s squared at this part. And what's the equivalent of the s squared? It's going to be a. 
then plus b times s squared here will give me b s squared meaning that there's a term in s squared here and what is the equation of the s squared is b i don't think there's going to be another s squared in this whole expression so right about now what do we say a is a is what theory so this is one equal three plus what b so what's your b finally minus two that's because if you take three to this other side you are going to have one minus three and that's what minus two now what's the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to what i'm going to equate the constants equate constants i'm going to be equating the constants now what are the constants things that don't have x so this is 41 i have 41 there equal what will be the constant here 9 times a is a constant because 9 does not have s so 9 times a is 9a then look here minus 6 times b so this is minus 6b is a constant then c times 2 is also a constant so this is 2c so this is 41 equal 9 times what is our a a is 3 then minus 6 bracket what is our b minus 2 then plus what 2c so this is 41 equal 9 times 3 will give 27 minus times minus will give me plus 6 times 2 12 then plus what 2c so this is 41 equal 27 plus this will give me what 39 then plus what 2c so this is 41 39 goes by becomes minus 39 equal to what 2c 41 minus 39 what do i give to you 2 so this is 2 equal to what 2c now 2 times what will give you 2 1 because 2 times 1 is what 2 so finally your c is equal to what 1 or you can say divide both sides by what 2 so i've gotten all our results we have gotten a equal to 3 b equal to minus 2 then c equal to what one so i've gotten all we need so right now go back into this expression the inverse laplace transform of this will become the first fraction we have is a over s plus two so what is our a a is theory so this is the inverse laplace transform of theory over s plus two because we have a over s plus two and our a is what theory then plus inverse Laplace transform of what is our b b is what minus 2 so this is minus 2 divided by what's at the bottom s minus 3 then plus inverse Laplace transform of c what is our c c is 1 so this is 1 divided by what s minus 3 all to the power of what 2 so that's what we have now at this very point Finding the inverse Laplace shouldn't be difficult. It shouldn't be difficult. So let us do this carefully. Since I have S, remember there's no power with S here. Since I have S here, a single S, what am I going to be having? Exponential. So this 3 is going to be a constant. So this is 3 exponential minus 2T. 3 exponential minus 2T. Then, what is the constant at this part? Minus 2. So this is minus 2 exponential since this is minus 3 it means i have the power of what 3t then plus now at this part you then think carefully you then think carefully please this s minus 3 here assume it's just one thing so let us assume that this is the inverse laplace of 1 over s squared 1 over s squared let us just say this is something because in real sense first shift theorem tells me that they are re they've replaced this very place with what s minus 3 that is why the expression is like this that's first shift theorem you can watch the video over here about first shift theorem so right now what will give you this very result please take note these two here can be one plus one so what does this tell you the answer out here is what t because the laplace transform of t to the power of n is equal n factorial over s to the power of n plus what one so if our result here is saying one over s to the power of since we have two here this is two which i said is one plus one what does that tell us here 
Since this S has the power of n plus 1, this S here is 1 plus 1. What does it tell you? It means your n is what? 1. Your n is what? 1. So our n is 1. n is 1. So what's on top in the question? This n here is what? 1. So I can simply say that this is t to start with. Because when it is 1 at the top, divided by this very expression, we're going to have t. Now, for them to replace with s minus 3, it means we have exponential to the power of 3 words, t. This expression will then be the final result to that very question. Please take note, you can factorize if you wish to. You can do anything if you wish to. Please like this video, comment, and share it to your family and friends.